What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about TwitchCon. Wait, I mean the big Twitch con. We are going to be going into detail about Twitch and how they don't really stand by their own terms of service, how they don't stand by their own policies and rules. So let's get into it. We're going to start off by talking about their report options. They have had report options on their platform for a very long time. Twitch allows you to report certain clips, VODs, channels, and many other things in between for multiple reasons, harassment, any crimes or explicit contents, nudes, anything like that. But one of the things I want to focus on today, of course, is the cheating report option. Now, this used to be something which was extremely easy to find. In fact, many people use this on a daily basis to report streamers who were actually rage hacking on their platform because it appears that Twitch didn't really care about it to the point they had to wait for a report to come in. So people were reporting this type of stuff. But there are other types of cheating, people who aren't showing their cheats live on stream. However, it would appear they had a large influx of reports reports on streamers who people believe are cheating and rightfully so especially with warzone having no anti-cheat this was bound to happen so what did twitch do to respond to this well this is where it gets very interesting twitch didn't really act upon it in a way that was public but it did appear they changed their whole report option. In fact, it's almost like they buried the cheating in game report option. A lot of people were confused by this at the time. People speaking out, wondering why Twitch had removed the option to report people for cheating in video games. But that wasn't the case. They didn't actually remove it, although it did appear on the surface like it was gone. After doing some digging, we found the right way to actually access this option. But it would appear even once finding this option, even if you actually show proof of the person getting caught cheating in the video games that they're playing it doesn't really matter so you will get an email from twitch to say that they've received your report however it does state within that email that the video or the clip or the stream or whatever it is you've reported will still be active on that streamer's channel until they've actually reviewed that report properly so are they actually acting upon it or will you receive a further email down the line to state that it's been acted upon? Or will they just get like a sort of warning? Who knows? It appears like Twitch may well be covering this up, but that is just speculation at the moment. However, let's take a dive into some specific streamers right now. Wagnificent is somebody who has been a name in the Call of Duty Warzone scene for a very long time. Somebody who has been a known cheater in that scene. For a very long time he was permanently banned back in september 2020 whilst he was live streaming on twitch and again twitch is a platform that does not allow cheating in online video games it is a bannable offense but magnificent being perma banned live on stream whilst on twitch did not receive anything from that in fact he actually was allowed to continue streaming whilst using multiple different accounts in the game. Bear in mind though guys, this is Wagnificent, somebody who still to this date hasn't admitted to his wrongdoings, somebody who is never going to either. Twitch have actually allowed Wagnificent to grow almost 10 times larger than he was when he originally received his permaban. Bear in mind this is somebody who was clearly caught up in an engine owning detection bandwave and he was allowed to progress on Twitch as a streamer. How is it against their terms and rules if they're not going to act upon it? I feel like Twitch as a platform need to really be doing more. If somebody is cheating in an online video game, and that is an option that can actually be reported for, and it is a bannable offence on that platform, then they should be acting upon this. Yes, this was back in 2020, but better late than never. But there appears to be more to it. How come Wagnificent hasn't been banned? That's only step one of this question. The second question is, are Twitch actually in full support of these cheating streamers? Because it would appear that Wagnificent was set up at TwitchCon signing autographs for his fans. This is somebody who has been permanently banned in the past. It appears that that history is trying to be squashed down further and further, but I am not going to let it go. Many people know Wagnificent to be a cheater, and that is always what he will be known as. It is better for him to come out and admit it and move forward. So to me, this is a clear sign that Twitch are in full support of cheating streamers because they are not only allowing him to continue on their platform, but they are allowing him to go to the TwitchCon 2022 event and actually be there signing autographs whilst in his organization t-shirt. And honestly, it's not just a bad look for his organization Omit for allowing him to sign with them, but it's a terrible look for Twitch 
as a platform to allow these types of streamers to continue. Maybe this is a part of the reason the platform's dying a miserable death. But this isn't the only person we can think of. We have got Torve. Torve is somebody who was permanently banned again, caught up in a ban wave that was caused by an engine owning cheats detection. So Torve is somebody who was permanently banned and again, he was allowed to continue streaming on the Twitch TV platform. Twitch again showing they don't really care if the streamers on their platform are cheating, if they're bringing in the views, bringing in the clicks and bringing in the money. Because hey, there have been small creators live streaming on Twitch whilst cheating who have been reported and banned all within a 48 hour period. In fact, I've featured some of those people here on this channel. But it would appear the guys at the top, the ones who are bringing in the views, seem to have a little bit of special treatment from the platform. And hey, it's not only Torvald and Magnificent we can sit here and talk about. 5x5x, somebody who caused a little bit of a divide within the Call of Duty community. Many of the large creators were actually defending 5x5x when she got called out by some creators on YouTube. And within the clips these creators used, it would appear that she was using some form of aimbot. However, there were other content creators out there who felt that 5x5x, the female Call of Duty content creator, was not cheating and that all of the hacker hunters claiming she was were wrong. Yes, that's right, none other than who? Blah blah. This guy went out of his way to try and replicate her aim and he didn't even come close. But he tried his best to replicate what she was doing in her game. And this is somebody putting their name on the line. And I'm going to just say, he shouldn't have ever been put in a position where he had to do that. In fact, hacker hunters should never be put in a position where they've got to be the ones exposing cheaters but the platforms just don't seem to care the game developers just don't seem to care it's taken too long for the people in charge on the platforms and the game development side of things to actually act upon the cheating in the game and that is causing all of this going on and that actually led to an individual content creator putting his brand and his name on the line to protect this female content creator because he believed she was legit when in fact if the game developers had acted upon her cheats instantly then that wouldn't have happened his brand his name wouldn't have been tarnished because of this however 5x5x found herself catching a permanent ban after all of that drama people accusing her of cheating people defending her large creators on twitch large streamers defending her and it turns out she was cheating all along and she caught herself a permanent ban from Activision. But this did not stop Twitch from letting her continue to stream on her platform, which is where she was given the opportunity to lie further to her own community, telling them that she was permanently banned wrongfully, telling them that it was a wrongful ban, telling them that she has never cheated. Like, I have nothing on my computer that would ever get me permaban like you guys know like i don't have shit on my computer so i told them like this is like obviously a mistake these were all lies because if she wasn't cheating she wouldn't have been permanently banned but she was just like torve just like magnificent but it doesn't stop there 5x5x just like magnificent was allowed to attend the twitch con event where she was going around meeting other creators from the platform not only is she giving a bad name to any other creators at the twitch con event who were actually posing with her due to the fact they were posing with a permanently banned warzone cheater but she was actually at this event giving the platform a bad name same as magnificent was and i'm sure there were others there as well who have been banned on the games in the past but this is definitely not a good look for twitch they have an option to report people for cheating in game but they have actually buried it further than you could ever believe cheating in online video games is against their rules and is a bannable offense but it is extremely rare that twitch will act upon this even if you report a blatantly obvious clip of somebody cheating yes you will receive the email stating that they are looking into it but 99 times out of 100 you will not get a follow-up email that clip vod or stream will still remain on their channel and they will not be banned whether that's a temporary ban or a permanent ban from the platform it just doesn't happen very often so yes this video was titled the big twitch con and rightfully so with them allowing cheaters to stream on their platform they are causing more problems for the legitimate hard working creators who are on their platform as well as others so it's about time that twitch acted upon the cheating scandal that occurred on their platform for far too long if you did enjoy today's video guys hit the thumbs up if you're new subscribe and turn on notifications and if you did enjoy this one guys you will most definitely enjoy this video here go and check it out thank you